Hello everyone, God bless you and welcome today to More Than Conquerors. We are so glad you have joined us and we are going to talk to you again as always from the wonderful principles from the Word of God to help feed your faith, starve your doubts. That's good. Feed your faith and starve your doubts. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about spiritual authority again. That's right. And uh, we, I think we'll get into the New Testament today. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can only hope because we know that it carries through from Genesis 1.26 all the way through to the book of Revelation. All these and great... And still going. And still going. So we look forward to talking to you here. Come back and join us. So all of heaven is watching the earth all the time, looking for a man or a woman that's going to use the Word of God, that's going to speak the Word of God, that's going to move on the Word of God. And when they do, heaven moves. Well, here we are. We're going to talk to you again about this great book full of all kinds of wisdom, counsel, instruction, even correction for your lives. And it's very, very profitable. You know, it's just so profitable for us to learn how God thinks about all these things. No, oh, absolutely. Isaiah 55 says over there in verse seven, it says, let the wicked man forsake his way. Because we were talking about the church turning and repenting yes. from our wicked ways. Yes. Anything that we're doing, like it says over here, I was reading in Ephesians chapter four, Terry, where again, it says that we are to, you know, find a place where we do not, um, where our hearts are convicted, uh, that we turn away from anything that would in any way uh, cause people to stumble in our lives as they're trying to get to know the Lord. And then, then we just find all through the word of God, let the wicked man forsake his way, as I was saying in Isaiah 55, um, you know, and let him return again, meaning he had been. Been there before. Been there before. Let him return again unto the Lord and he will abundantly pardon. Amen. He will abundantly pardon. He says, for my ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. And he wants what we're saying and what we're doing uh, to come up higher. Yeah, come up and here. Raise the standard to where you think like God, like the Lord told you back when you were mm -hmm, young, sure. teenage boy. Mm -hmm. Think like God, talk like God, act like God, have what God has. And that's the whole, that's really what faith is that you put faith in the Word of God, that what you find on these pages, you believe, you say out of your mouth, and you have what it says. And that's really what we what we got so excited about was that, as I quoted in the oh, earlier those program, many years ago. those many years ago, is that God is, Romans, uh, Numbers 23, 19, that God is not a man that he should lie. He's worth leaving off the foolishness of life to follow so you can have the blessing of God in your life and then in turn reap for the Lord a harvest of souls yes. to go into eternity. Yes, yes, That's yes, yes. the whole purpose of what we're doing in learning faith. And hence, when we heard Brother Hagen and, and uh, him teaching on faith, Mark 11, 23, oh my goodness. Well, you could, new world. New world that you could say to the mountain, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you, you shall have, have them. You can say to the mountain. You know, I think I mentioned this several programs back, but the first time I ever heard Brother Hagen right. was in 1966. I was 16 years old. Yes. And he had just left his denomination all those many years. He'd been right. in the sin was right. of God. But he had just left his denomination to start his own independent ministry, right. non-denominational ministry. And uh, so he came to our town, and he was uh, doing a meeting, a small meeting room in a little <laughs> hotel, Ramadi, and yeah. I think. Yeah. And, uh, and and the Lord had already been dealing with me, as I've said a number of times, since I was 16, or sort of that same year, actually, yes. uh, about what we now call the word faith. I didn't have a title for it. Mm -hmm. Talking to me about mm -hmm. talking like God, saying what yes. God says. Yes, uh, it's easy. You know, and uh, renewing your mind to the word of God, Romans yes. 12, too. And so uh, as I was listening to him uh, minister, 
on the maybe the second night of his meeting or something, I remember uh, as he was speaking, I, I just he said something to the effect of of if if you if you're sick mm-hmm. and if you're just believing in the miracle ministry, the miracle minister, right. which is fine to have right. the miracle ministry come Listen to town, to or the, mir- the miracle minister come to town, it's fine to what they said in the old days, get under the spout with glory comes yes. out. There, that, that, nothing wrong <laughs> uh, with that. But he said, lots. he said, but if you're if if that's your only avenue, right. is to wait for the the miracle ministry to come to town, he said, you may have a long wait. You know, they may not be in That's town. That's the truth. Or if you get sick at three or four o'clock in the morning and you don't have my, my. their phone number, you know, exactly. you could be in trouble. And you and, have a uh, sick baby. And as soon <laughs> yes. as he said that, I just thought, that's exactly what God has been talking to me about, that there's 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 not only that miracle, supernatural gifts of the Spirit, right. healings and miracles that I was used to. Right. You know, my mama took me out of school in the first grade when I was six years old. Uh, because old Roberts was having a crusade right. in the town 20 miles away from us. I was raised in Midland, Texas, Those over, in, o- over in Odessa, <laughs> where the Roberts was having a miracle crusade. Right. And uh, so she took me out of school the whole week. And I just sat there and watched those, I, with my mouth open, you know. Isn't that amazing? And I remember he had the lady with him. You remember uh, Betty Baxter? Right. Uh, how she gave, she traveled with him for a little what while. What a tremendous her, testimony. Tremendous Very testimony. Betty Baxter how she was gnarled and twisted and how Jesus just walked in and yes. healed her. And uh, yes. but anyway, so I was used to those kinds of right. miracles, those kinds right. of T.L. Osborne miracles, Oral Roberts miracles, and, you know, A.A. A. Allen, right. Jack Cole. Where you go to all a the geographic supernatural, location yeah, with to the, hear with a, a specific man of God. With a man or woman that was anointed right. God with a miracle ministry. Nothing wrong with that. Exactly. And that's what I was, was raised exactly. on. But I realized there that as he was talking that not only is that good, is yes. that valid, yes. but... You can get healed from the word. That's right. You can just absolutely that take the word for yourself huge. at three the o'clock in the morning, point. four o'clock yes. in the morning. If the miracle yes. ministry is not in town, right. then you you That's you right. can still go to the source, right. <laughs> you know, and yes. and believe just what the word says. Right. Over twenty years ago, Terry and Jackie Mize began the Jackie Mize International Children's Foundation, we say JMICF. And we wanted to talk to you today and invite you to join and work with us in a worldwide effort to minister, help, and deliver really children from around the world. We work with orphanages, even human trafficking centers. We work to help widows and displaced women. And we are working daily, um, more than ever before because there's so many great needs around the world to work with orphanages and to help children that are really in desperate, dire need. I found two verses in the Bible, Proverbs 24, 11, that says, deliver those who are drawn away to death and those who totter to the slaughter, hold them back from their doom. And then in Proverbs 31, it says that we have got to speak up for those who don't have anyone to speak up for them. You know, JMICF, wants to do this all year long. So we invite you to help us. And then also TMN, we take care of all the administrative costs also for JMICF as well as Terry uh, and his traveling ministry. So we are so grateful for anyone that can give us a partnership (laughs) endorsement and help us reach the world through JMICF. God bless you and thank you again. By his stripes, right. I was healed. By his stripes, I am healed. Isaiah 53 and 1 Peter 2, 24. I, right. By the stripes of Jesus, he paid for it in blood. And so Hallelujah. if that's if that's true, if it says yes. you were healed, past tense, and then you are, we are healed, right. present tense, then, well, hey, if it says I am, I am. And, and so you, you start looking for scriptures to use for your malady, for your problem. Yeah, and for your personal use. That really, Terry, I think, I I know I've said this before for folks, but really the whole crux of the matter when we learned about personal faith was that it gave us an autonomy to function out of our heart. As a believer. As a believer with our heart faith 
to to uh, get our healing, to believe God for our needs, that we were no longer beggars. <laughs> exactly right. We were we were believers, and that we could autonomously stand before God all by ourselves and take, like Hosea fourteen two says. When you go before the Lord, take, take with, with you words. words. Well, then these words are what I go before the throne of God with, and I begin to ask and yeah. lay my petition out. Yeah. And when I found out I could do that in faith, not as a beggar, that was a whole other thing. Where you're, when you're going to a healing mint and you're hoping, yeah. you know, and believe in God to a level. Yeah. But man, when you find out you have personal faith like you're talking about, my goodness gracious, oh, what a change. It, it, it is a change. What? In, a in change. fact, in fact, Oral Roberts and I, as you know, became became very good friends yeah. uh, later on and when I went into ministry. Right. And uh, one day he said to me, I was at his office and, and our, we were at lunch or something. And he said, Terry, I'm not sure I understand you. I said, really? Why? <laughs> and he said, well, he said, he said, "You're you're one of us, right? You're like you're one of us. I mean, yeah. the miracle guys. You have miracles. Right. You have miracles." Uh, he said, "But you're one of them, right? Me and the Word of Faith guys, right?" And he said, "I, I don't understand how you do that." And uh, I said, "Well, I said, well, Oral, I said, well, the, the, the reason I can play with both camps, <laughs> I said, is because I think you're both right." Right. And he said, "Well, how's that?" I Absolutely. said, "I said, well, I said I was raised on the miracles. I love the miracles." I said, man, you're sure. your ministry, T.L. Osborne's ministry, Catherine Coolman's ministry, Jack Cove's ministry, A.A. Allen's ministry. I, I love that. And uh, I said, uh, I said, but but the, the the miracle boys, you, me, us, I said, we say, okay, here's a blind guy. I pray for him. He's either healed or he's not. Right. He either gets his eyes opened and he sees or he doesn't. So we we in the miracle ministry say, okay, they got it. <laughs> Or they didn't get it. It's a miracle. Right. Or it's not. I said, well, yet the word of faith right. says this that, is important. That that by the stripes of Jesus you were healed. You were healed. Miracles belong to you. Healings yeah. belong to you. Yeah. Manifestation belongs to you. Exactly. So I'm going to stand here in faith and I'm going to declare the word of God. Right. I'm going to make demand on the word of God. Right. I'm going to walk in the word of God. I'm going to act in the word. I'm going to speak the word and I'm going to keep walking that out until the manifestation comes. Right. So healing can be a long process. Miracle usually is instant. Right. Healing sometimes is a process. Right. Uh, so what if it takes two days, three days, five days? Right. So, so what? If you still, the, the end yeah, result's the same. the calendar The end result's the same. You got a miracle. No, that's right. And I, I said, so I think they're both right. I said, in fact, I know they're both right. Right. And I said, now, which one do I like the best? The miracle. I'd rather have sure. the bam right now. Yeah. I said, but I, I watched it and even in my own life. I said, I've walked out healings. Uh, you know, I've, 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 I've uh, you know, watched the healings. Come. And, and in my own ministry, Renee, going around the world, I've had, as you know, some absolutely outstanding, supernatural, no, tremendous right. uh, miracles. I mean, just instant, right. miracle, creative miracles. I mean, God to create stuff that wasn't there. God to <laughs> take stuff out yes, that was, that was yes, there, yes. including metal rods that doctors put in people's bodies, metal screens, metal right. screws. Uh, God just dissolve them and disappear. I mean, those are those are what I call creative miracles. Exactly. Something's created or, or uncreated. Right. Uh, but I've also prayed for people to where it took several days from right. the time I prayed for them and told them, "All right, you're healed." Uh, yet the manifestation wasn't there, and maybe not wasn't there the next day. Maybe wasn't there the next day. But then the next day, there it is. Right. And so uh, I, I, but that's what I got as a 16 year old in that first Brother Hagen meeting I went to is. Oh my God, this is what the Lord's saying to me. There is the healing ministry. There right. is the anointing. There is the, the power of God coming from heaven, pow, mm -hmm. doing a miracle. And there's also, hey, I don't have a preacher to show me. I don't have a preacher to pray for me, right. but I've got the word. <laughs> and you know, when That's you right. started the program, if you're what, isolated, how else are you going to get healed? Right. Is get into the word of God. If you can't find a church, you can't find a man of God. God you're still covered if you That's can get exactly into the right. word of God mm -hmm. and learn it to develop your own faith. I've said for years, you know, you can take everything I got, take the house, the cars, the boats, the planes, you can take everything <laughs> away from me, drop me in the in the jungle or the desert somewhere right. with just a Bible, and I'd get it all again because no, that's, that's right. I know how I got it the first time. Exactly. So you take the word and get right. in the word and say, I need a I need a car. I'm gonna get in here and you know, believe me a car. I'm gonna I need a house. I'm gonna believe a house. I'm gonna, I need some clothes. I'm gonna believe you know, you you just take the word 
I mean, in those early days, I, I used to laugh and tell you and Dean and Jackie, I'd say, it's kind of like we've, we've kind of kind of become a, a new game show in town. It's kind of <laughs> like that, that well, I could stand up here behind the pulpit oh, and just yell out a malady. I could say, cancer, blindness, tooth problems, uh, children, and, and somebody out in the audience would say, oh, oh I got a scripture. <laughs> you know, yeah, right. teeth. Uh, my white teeth. My teeth are white. Coming up from the washing. Per- Whitey sheep coming up from the washing. Perfectly matched. Not one of them missing. Song is awesome. Right. You know. Uh, you know, a broken bone. Uh, not one bone of him should be broken. Says the right. song. And you know, we we just man. If you name a new man a problem, here's the answer. You find it in the word. And when you, you started the program while ago, you said uh, you said we're going to talk about this book. Talking about the Bible. Mm-hmm. And as soon as you said it, I thought of I thought. Of, of, of something I, I've said for years and years around the world. I said, uh, I said, I love the old, old Testament and I love the New Testament. And a lot of people, they don't like the Old Testament. They really have a hang up and gets, gets a burr under their saddle about the Old Testament. Okay. But, but Jesus said right. of the Old Testament scriptures, because that's all they had. Right. He said the Old Testament scriptures, he said, they testify of me. Of me. Isn't that great? Isn't that wonderful? They testify of me. Hallelujah. And the Apostle Paul said about them, he said, he said, they are able, these scriptures are able to make us wise unto salvation. My goodness. So Jesus liked the Old Testament. Paul these liked such the Old noble Testament. Words. And, you know, so, somebody said long before, I guess I was born, said My the God. Old Testament is the New Testament concealed or yes. hidden. Right. And the New Testament is the Old Testament, Old Testament revealed. revealed. And so I like them both, you know. Well, and what you're talking about, too, is that. Human nature is to want to do either or. Yes. A little Johnny One Note. This is all we do. This is all we do. That's mm-hmm. how you get multiplied religions mm-hmm. because we we just want to do this one thing. <laughs> but you know, you should be mature enough to hold two thoughts in your head at the same time, and that you can take Old Testament and New Testament. You can receive from a, a an anointed man or woman of God in a healing ministry. And then you also know how to go home and get healing for yourself. And then you know how to pray. You know how to believe God. All the facets of prayer within themselves, Terry, we found out through the word of God that there are that that realm of the supernatural. God's not trying to keep people out. He's not trying to limit health healing, healing for health. He's not trying to limit uh, people from financial blessing. He's not trying to limit you from seeing the supernatural power of God. He's trying to broaden the playing field <laughs> to give you an opportunity at every turn to receive from the supernatural yes. power yes. of God and the promises of God so that we're not isolated with no help, no hope in any dynamic of life. Oh, exactly. And so that's what this book God's is all about. God's never trying to push men and women out. He's always right. trying to pull them in. Pull them in he, to he sit at the banquet table. Can, you know? <laughs> yeah, he spread a banquet table. You know, he says, I'll even prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. In other words, I'll, I'll do a miracle in spite mm-hmm. of everything and oh, everyone yeah. and all your circumstances and all your handicaps in life. And, and in spite of your past and in spite of, of who your parents were or who, what your bank account says, God's just trying to do the miraculous yes. at every turn. And he wants us to use our faith to receive it exactly. and not talk like we, we I think we talked on three or four programs where we talked about don't be negative with your mouth don't sure. say stupid stuff out of your mouth make your mouth conform to the word of sure. God talk like God yeah find out what did, I mean when I when I was 16 years old God gave me a message that, uh, to my youth uh, called you can talk like God and yeah. I, I ended the message that night by saying now from this day forward we're going to make our words Agree with God's words on every subject. <laughs> That's so uh, wonderful. We're not going to say anything. No, right. Until we find out what the word says about it. We're not going to say anything endeavor. about our wife, about our husband, what a about our kids, about our finances, about yeah. our health, about anything until we go see what did God say about it and then yes. say the same thing. Say the same thing. Say and the same wisdom. thing. That's wisdom. That's wisdom. That's all that is. I mean, why would you, why would you try to go off on a lark all by yourself on something that is not tried and proven? Mm -hmm. Where this has been proven for thousands of years that God's word is the truth. And just like a Mark 11, 23, Mark 11, 24, uh, Numbers 23, 19, Psalm 91, Isaiah 53, Psalm 121. We can just go through the word of God all through from Old Testament to New Testament. Why leave out Say, well, I'm just going to believe this. 
when you can have it all. <laughs> you know, it's like, why just, why have just salvation in the new birth when you can have healing and blessing right. and favor and authority over hell. Because all that's included in salvation. It's the church all is just in never salvation. Yeah. In the atonement, in, in Jesus' blood, in, in, there in there Jesus you. dying on the cross, right. we got the salvation, thank God. If that's all we got, that's that'd right. be wonderful. That, that's, a, that's the miracle that lasts yeah, forever. Yeah, we got our ticket to heaven. <laughs> but but included in all of that yes. was is the day-to-day -day provision. Else, the deliverance, yeah. the healing, the that's prosperity, right. the, the increase, the blessing. And so uh, it's the day to day you know, provision. I, did, I fell in love with the word. And I, yes. I know you and Dean did too, Jackie and I. Felt, and, it, and we've got the testimonies to prove it no, in our right. own lives, in our that's own right. family. You know, it, it we've got the testimonies and the people's fruit to yeah, prove it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we can just take the word. And, and, and I mean, if you've got a problem, you've got a, you've been facing an issue, facing a problem, go find out what God right. says about it. Right. Be, and meditate on that. Sit around and think about how does that apply to me? How, how do I see that working in my life? Right. You know, and, and start mutter. You know, part of meditation, so sometimes the church yeah. is scared of meditation because they think <laughs> it's a Far Eastern doctrine. Yeah, and the devil has taken it to use it for that. Everything God created, the devil saw was good and it worked. Right. So he, right. he took a counterfeit of it. He perverted it right. and, and, and did it too. But just because he did it doesn't mean we didn't have it first. Right. And the reason it works is because God thought it up. But uh, you, but part of meditation means to mutter under your breath. Right. In other words, you're just sitting around, sitting around during the day, and just you know, just I mean, he orders up to do this. I'm yes, here. I'm here. yes. I, you know, I'm, I'm, the, the, the word works for me. The word's working mightily. That's right. Yeah, I tell you, I receive well, the word. And, God, you and, and you're I, just muttering and meditating and yes. mumbling and talking. <laughs> you know, I mean, you, you, you hear said. me do it all day long. I hear you do it all day yeah. long. You know, just. Uh, Dean always said the, there's the there's only two kinds of people that talk to themselves, and he said that that's the mentally unstable and believers. Yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> and you and I, uh, you know, exercise that, and as I think that constantly you've got to be taught as you as in the aging process. We have found you have to tell your body what it's going to do. You can't let your body tell you what it's going to do. Sure. You have to constantly stay in authority because I, you're in spiritual authority. Your that's spirit it. man. Yes. The real Rene Mize, the real Terry Mize, yes. is in charge of the body. That's right. The hand, <laughs> work. You right. Know, you, you know, tell you just have to get up, move, do this, work. Well, and you have function, to. Function, you're that's, healed. That's all part of it. I, I want to stay with that thought because I wanted to, to show show you something here. The Apostle Paul, we I think we mentioned this on program before last, that the Apostle Paul said, he said, Timothy is the best representation I've got of what he said. He seeks for the good of the ministry, not just personal gain like some have done. Yes. And uh, and so what he would talk about he in his letter to Timothy here, he said in 1 Timothy chapter 4, he said, Timothy, till I come. Um, devote yourself to public and private reading, to exhortation, to preaching, to teaching, to instilling doctrine. And he says, do not neglect the gift that is on the inside That's of you. Right. And so he's telling him all these wonderful little guidelines here that I think are just so profound. Because when you're going to talk to your flesh and you're going to command yourself to, to get up, to do what you need to do and not, not give in to the lust of your flesh, the pride of your life that you get up, you move, you go do something productive. You, you command your body to be, to be full of faith and to obey what you're saying from the word of God. But he says in verse 16, look well to yourself, to your own personality and to your teaching. Persevere in these things, hold to them for by so doing, you will save both yourself mm -hmm. and those who hear you. Yes, yes, so yes. in talking about saving folks that hear, we want to pray for you today. <laughs> Renee and I just want to take a minute to uh, pray with you, pray for you. So uh, just uh, hang in here with us a minute and realize that whenever we pray, uh, heaven moves. When we That's act right. on the word of God, heaven moves. When we talk the word of God, yes. heaven moves. So when we pray, we're going to pray for salvation. Some of you may be watching and listening that you uh, you don't know what would happen to you if you were to die today. You don't know if you'd go to heaven. You don't know if you'd go to hell. Well, the Bible tells you you can make sure. Uh, or if you're sick and need healing, the Bible tells you how to get healed, that God right. has already paid for healing for you. Or some people, Renee, are abound with different kind of addictions. 
uh, all kinds of uh, chemical addictions and well, just all kinds of addictions. Right. And so whatever might be holding you, binding you, stopping you, holding you back, let's just pray right now. Amen. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we set our faith That's in right. absolute agreement with everyone listening to That's us right. today, everyone That's watching right. us today. Father, we pray yes. for them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet for absolute healing, that the tangible yes. anointing, the anointing, yes. the power of God, the anointing that your word says destroys That's the right. yoke of bondage. So whatever the yoke might be today, whether it's cancer or AIDS or, <laughs> or, right. or, or lupus or even That's COVID, right. whatever, uh, if it's a marital problem, a financial problem, what, whatever the yoke might be, that anointing of God will destroy, not just That's bend right. it or break it, but destroy, destroy it in the name of Jesus. So body right now from your head to your feet, receive that anointing, Amen. receive that healing, receive that power, receive Help deliverance from all kinds of addictions, whatever addictions might be there, whatever Jesus. demon spirits might be controlling somebody. That's stopping right. somebody, That's right. uh, interfering with people. I bind those spirits in the name of Jesus. I command you and charge you by Almighty God, by the blood of the covenant and the covenant of blood. Take your hands off of God's property in Jesus' name. You yes. lose them. Go from them and trouble them day. no more in Jesus' name. And now, Father, should they be not saved? Should there be people watching, listening today that are not saved? They're not born again. They've never asked you into their heart. They don't know if they died today, if it's been a turn in heaven or eternity in hell, they can make sure now. The word, your word says, call on the name of the Lord and you'll be saved. That's your right. word says, if we confess Jesus is our Lord, believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we'll be saved. So Father, in Jesus' name, say this after me. I come before you today, Father, to accept Jesus as my Savior, as my Lord. I believe in my heart. God raised him from the dead. He is the Son of God. Amen. He is my Lord. And Father, I receive salvation. I receive healing. And I receive receive all that you have for me in Jesus name. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love you. And you are more than, more than conquerors. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching today. Renee and I always enjoy ministering to you. And one thing about the word, it works. I've always said about the, our books and tapes and products that there's no theory back there. It's 54 years of third world missionary evangelism that I know for a fact works. You know, the COVID thing is about wrapped up, thank God, and uh, different restrictions are lifting around the world. And so uh, we're beginning to move out around the world again, which is what we've done for 54 years. And so uh, we want to invite you to partner with us, to hook up with us, to go around the world with us. You know, in our as far as teaching and training, we train missionaries, uh, we train pastors, uh, I've had pastors conferences in country after country after country, which is something God spoke to me to do when I was just a teenager to train ministers. And so we've done that. But we also have open air crusades and different kind of crusades in different nations uh, with healings and miracles and salvations. So we want to invite you to be partners with us as we have partnered with other ministries all, really all of our lives. And we pray for our partners daily. We'll pray for you daily. So make it a consideration. Make it a prayer. See what the Holy Ghost says to you. And uh, we'd be glad to have you partner with us and go around the world with us. God bless you.